Walking with Ghosts is uh, about a man's life uh, from childhood to, I'd say, middle age, late middle age, and negotiating all of the different um, aspects of life and the different and hitting all the different signposts in childhood and uh, um, dealing with religion, dealing with your parents, um, school, education, and it's um, it's just wildly funny and um, heartbreaking and moving and. Um, and I think profound. I, I think it, it says some truths that we don't we don't talk about very much. It deals a little bit with mental illness and and alcoholism, and uh, it um, it really um, uncovers somebody's life warts and all. And it's um, it's a sort of soul revealing in some way. And I know that sounds highfalutin, but uh, it's kind of what it is. And that said, at the same time, it's a good time because he's very funny. And most people don't know that, but Gabriel Burns hilarious. And so it was really important that we had both the humor and the, um, the pathos of, um, of his life. And uh, through the specificity of his life, I think it's universal and we all see ourselves. And that's the point. So that's what we wanted is for people to walk away seeing their own lives. There's, there's laughter in this and there's moving bits in it. But I also wanted to be honest truthful and by not being afraid to talk about the things that we certainly in Ireland we're not encouraged to talk about by, by talking about them I hope that it will open up for people um, the possibility of dialogue with themselves and with other people because there's there's two actors in the play it's me and the audience and I'm very very respectful of that and very cognizant of it um, and when when that interaction between the audience um, and, the, and the stage is happening in the way it's meant to, um, it's almost like it's almost like a spiritual connection. It's a, like when I think about when you go to when you go to church or something, you, you want to transcend the real world and connect in a deeper way with something else. And the church and the theater are very, very similar, uh, to me anyway. I directed Gabriel uh, about 15 years ago in Camelot at the New York Philharmonic, and we became, lucky for me, very good friends. And he had sent me an early copy of the book, the memoir, and I just was so dazzled by his writing. I mean, it's just eloquent and... Um, moving and funny and uh, I, I was so proud of him because it wasn't just a Hollywood memoir it was it was real writing he's an he's a poet he's an Irish poet and um, so when he asked me then that when they decided to turn it into a play would I I just jumped at it I just you know I'd kill anybody who got to do it if it wasn't me I was so excited by it because you don't get material that good often I don't anyway I want them to be entertained and then I want them to think about their own lives in an honest and real way and think about how the personal telling of a story is necessary, it's essential and to reveal who we are honestly and truthfully to other people and to ourselves and I think this isn't a show about me saying hey look at me, look this, it's not a show, it's a way of saying to an audience think about the life that you've led I, I've, I've revealed who I am now. What are the things that formed you? Why are you like the way you are? What are your dreams, your fears, your demons? Um, how do you relate to the people you love in your life? What's, what, what's passed on from your life that you will never find again? And what's your relationship to that? Because we all live with ghosts. Well, what I hope they experience, Roberto, is a really fun time because it's really funny and it's um, very moving and it's very um, thought provoking and uh, very honest. Uh, so um, I hope that when they leave the, uh, leave the theater that they think about their own lives and um, what are the incidents and moments that have shaped their lives and um, how to move forward with um, incorporating those moments and, um, and letting go of some of the tougher ones and um, moving forward with less of a burden and more joy.